front where it says aims real big. Well, it's a sad day here in Erie, Pennsylvania. A week ago, Christmas Tree Shops announced that they would be closing all of their locations, all 90 of them nationwide. We were fortunate enough to have one here in Erie for many, many years, and this store was phenomenal. I loved shopping here. I did a Christmas video here not too long ago, if you remember that. And even though at Christmas time, it would live up to its name and be loaded with Christmas goodies all over the store, this was more than just that. This store is kind of like a big lots. They would sell household goods, domestics, patio furniture, um, great stocking stuffer ideas, food, everything you could think of just about that a big lots would have. This place had it. And, well, unfortunately, it just wasn't meant to be. If I remember right, they were connected some way, shape, or form with Bed Bath & Beyond, and as we know, Bed Bath & Beyond closed their stores, and they separated from them in hopes of saving their company, and unfortunately, they're not making it. So, I've had a pleasure being able to shop in here over the years. Almost every time I'd come up here to visit Erie, I'd stop in here and find something cool. And, well, it's going to be sad that it's not going to be here anymore. It just put a smile on my face every time I saw it, especially for me, loving Christmas and just seeing the name alone. But it's going to be sad that it's going away now. I'm going to miss it. I really love this place a lot. So before we go in there and take a look around, I just want to give out my condolences to everybody that works here at this location. Everybody's always been super friendly, super nice. And, well, I just wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. At least here at the Mill Creek Mall Complex, there's plenty of other options around. The mall is booming. All the stores around here are booming. And there's a new Dick's Sporting Goods that's getting ready to open in September over at the old Bonton location at the mall. And it's coming along very nicely. So, anyway, without further ado, let's take one last look inside of this store and see if we can find something cool one last time. And uh, if we can get back here, when I come back up here for Discover Prescott weekend, I'm going to try and go in there one more time then as well. So anyway, let's go inside and check it out. Oh man, this breaks my heart. I love this store. That entire store on sale. Nothing held back. Ten percent off a lot of things. Oh wow, they got so much beach stuff here too. Up ahead, I'll show you that in just a moment. They got fall stuff already too. We got the beach goodies over here, pool stuff. Wow. Beach umbrella, that's a massive beach umbrella. Look at the little beach cart. Oh, look at that, that is so neat. You can put your cooler on it, chairs, everything. And here, here's what it looks like assembled. Oh, is that so cool. I don't know how much that costs, although it'd be hard to heck, hard as heck to maneuver with those little wheels on the beach, I would think. I don't know. I don't know how much it costs though. So I learned it's $59.99, take $5.99 off for the 10%, so it's $54 bucks plus tax, so it would bring it right back up to about $58 bucks anyway. So I can't remember, you'd think I would remember as many times as I come to Erie, I can't remember what sales tax is in Erie County, I can't remember if it's 6% or 7 Anyway, let's continue on. All the patio stuff. I love the solar lights. You know I like summer goodies. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Christmas garland. <laughs> Here we go. The Christmas goodies. $3.99 for that. It's not is it lit? No, it's not. Christmas wreaths, $17.49. Wow. Half off the Christmas stuff. Take it all in now. 
Most things seem to be 10% off right now. Anyway, let's continue on. This is sad. Oh, I'm definitely going to be looking at the uh, summer signs here, the beach signs. Definitely. This place was much more than just Christmas stuff. It was kind of like a big lots. All kinds of home goods and even food, too. Wow, well, they cleared out that whole back half of the store already behind that shelving. Wow. Here's where all the food is up here. Pantry. Wow. Yeah, they're fixing to empty this out quick. Yep, they closed off this whole side of the store. It used to be, this whole section used to be aisles that would go this way. Now they have it all closed off. Here, we can take a sneak peek through here real quick. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, they would all be shelves going the opposite direction. All closed off now. That's El Terrible. I love this place, though. I, I made purchases here a few times. The only reason why I couldn't make more is because I don't live up here. Let's go through here. It's a good amount of people here on a Monday evening. Oh, wow, they have cornhole. $35 for cornhole. Um... Yeah, I think I'm going to have to pick one of these up, actually. That's a pretty good deal, considering how much cornhole boards can be. 35 bucks. Oh, yeah, that's coming home tonight. I'll pick that up when I'm done doing this video, just because it's hard to carry all that and do this at the same time. Here's another part they closed off. They closed this section off. Here, you used to be able to go back that way. Not anymore. Yeah, they're shrinking fast. Oh, look at this. They even have uh, gingerbread houses. Look at that. <laughs> the Funfetti mix. Is this from last year? It has to be. Still good until February 26th, though, 2024. Man. Candy canes in July. <laughs> anyway. Take another... Walk through the front. Reusable tote bags. Yeah, they have these reusable tote bags. Christmas tree shops. Hmm. Makes me wonder if they're selling their hand baskets, too. That says Christmas tree shops on it since they're going completely out of business. It's worth asking, I guess. Not that I need any more patio goodies very good so when looking at these cornhole games i saw the sticker on here it was originally for 49.99 and on here it says 39.99 and with the 10 percent off 34.99 or 35.99 but we're definitely picking that up but what i didn't notice was the fact they have more designs they have that one that one here and then if we walk around to this side they have the one that looks like a giant watermelon. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oop, dropping stuff. Anyway, here are the bean bags for them too, for the American flag design. Um, definitely picking this up. I'm just uh, seeing what Mary's opinion is on the ones they have. I, I like the American flag ones personally. Yeah, here's the American flag one. Now this one being on display, it got a little nicked up. It's paper, so you have to be careful. Look at that, that one has lights in it. That's wild. The other ones I don't think have that, but who cares? I don't, I'm not gonna be playing at nighttime, but yeah, there's that, you, know, you can see it's paper, it kind of peeled off, but it's cheap as it is. It's not bad. And I mean, these bean bags are pretty good. Not bad for the price, honestly. Yeah, this place had just about everything in here anyway, as we get back into the video. Just like I said, just kind of like a big lots in a way. 
very big lot uh, type of vibes. Oh, wow, they even got that shampoo and stuff I like. That's not the uh, one I use per se, but 10% off. I'd be curious what the price is on that stuff. That's not the scent that I use, but that's the brand, that Maui brand. But yeah, they it's like your big lots, pretty much. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, they're just really clearing up this place a lot. I mean, you can see the uh, shelving, like I was telling you earlier, blocking off another part of the store. All these are empty now with the fall pillows that were once in these bins. It's unfortunate. It's sad. Oh, wow. $89.99 for a little fire pit. That $80.99 for that one. And actually, that one's nicer, if I'm being honest. In my opinion with the cool graphics on it now you can't really see it too well let me zoom in here you see it like with the trees pretty cool yep there's your last look at the registers anyway the front end it's unfortunate very unfortunate go big popcorn they weren't joking when they said go big look at that that's a lot of popcorn. <laughs> well, I'm really glad I chose to come in here today because this may be the last time I get to come in the store, especially with how fast they're trying to wind down operations. It's really sad, actually. And since Mary's not with me, she asked me if I'd grab her a beach tote because she wants one for Presque Isle weekend, which is right around the corner. So we will be doing that. And uh, it's only five bucks. Or, I'm sorry, 10 bucks, but $9 with the 10% off. But that's okay. I'm getting that and that cornhole game. And, yeah, I think I'm going to grab one of those tote bags, too, those Christmas tree shop tote bags for $0.79. Cents. So I was going to pick up one of these bags here when I noticed this one over here had different pictures on it. And it says Christmas tree shop's real big on it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to grab that. Three for $2 or $0.79 cents each. I really only need one. I really don't need more than that. So I am just going to get the one. But they have thousands of them here if you happen to swing by this location. Well, I got my cornhole game and those couple of bags. And, uh, oh, man, it just breaks my heart. I love this store. I love this store so much. And now it's not going to be here anymore. And Well... I even asked if I could buy a hand basket, but they said not yet, just because the liquidator hasn't priced them yet, and I'll do that probably closer to the end of the month, or however far they get down in operations with their liquidation. So, it'd be nice to have one just to have from a store that I really love a lot. Remember, I did a Christmas video here a couple of years ago, and uh, it might even have been this past Christmas. I can't remember, but I did a Christmas video here. And I really had a great time doing it and bringing you guys along. And, well, at least I was able to get a couple of things. I, I can't wait to play with that cornhole game, especially at Presque Isle and at the motel when we get to stay there. And I can't wait. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the look at this place. Really, really hate that they're closing. I love that store so much. It's going to be missed for sure. But that's the retail apocalypse for you. And, you know, when... Bed Bath & Beyond was going down and they split and they took off from them and they did their own thing. Who would have thought? I thought it was going to save them. They thought it was going to save them too, but they still ended up closing, which is sad. And it's not like their prices were terrible. No, they were very comparable to many other places that you go to. So it just stinks. But if I can say something to people in charge of Erie, put another Christmas shop here. Or, or, you know what, just tell them to keep this one open. Tell them I said it was okay. Tell the liquidation company, everybody, tell them I said it's okay to leave this here and just sell Christmas stuff year-round. That's how that works, right? I wish. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to give the video a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, feel free to subscribe to the channel for more content. And until next time, take care and stay awesome. I'm going to miss you, Christmas tree shops. You've been a great friend. All right. Bye, everyone.